Pramila Khatun built this grocery store inside her home from scratch. Nine years ago, she was homeless and had no money to feed her husband and four children. So she turned to the Grameen Bank, a pioneering microcredit institution, to loan her fifty dollars. Today, Pramila is able to provide for her family. Although she has to pay an interest rate of twenty percent on her loan, Pramila says she's happy. I went to Grameen Bank because no other banks give poor people like us loans. My family condition has improved. I sent my children to school, and I can eat three times a day. There are over eight million borrowers of the Grameen Bank. Many of them are poor rural women. Most of them are now protesting what they say is the government's plan to take over their institution. The government owns three percent of the bank. The rest is owned by poor rural stakeholders. Last month, a government commission recommended its share be increased to 51 percent. But when questioned, government officials deny they want to take over the bank. There is no intention of the government to take the bank over. The government is going to take over 51 percent. I think it is absolutely false. The charter says the government's share is 25 percent. The success of the Grameen Bank as the premier microcredit institution earned its founder Mohammed Yunus the Nobel Prize in 2006. But two years ago, Yunus was forced by the government to resign as the managing director. The Nobel Prize winner released a statement saying the government's bid for larger shares of the bank is an abuse of power. Tasina Katun is on the board of directors of Grameen Bank. She says its borrowers are at risk. If the government grabs the bank, it will crumble. If it is destroyed, we will be powerless. There is no malfunction in our structure, so we will not accept in any way the government's initiative. We will not allow it to happen. The final ruling of the commission's recommendation is due on Tuesday, and millions of borrowers like Pramila will wait to see if they have access to this precious source of finance. Tanya Rashid. Al Jazeera, Moiman Singh, Bangladesh.